Well, I'm Henry Pritchard. I was first football coach. We had a six-man team. Well, I coached basketball, six-man football, and baseball. I think I got the grand total of $200 a year for coaching all three sports. I, I just did it all, never thought anything about it. And as a matter of fact, I would have paid them to let me coach, but they didn't know that. I liked it that, I liked it that well. And the only co assistant I had at any time that I remember was Mr. Abel helped some with the uh, six-man football. Mr. Abel was a good voag teacher. I remember when I first played football back in 26 or 7, we just had leather helmets with a little pad inside of them. But nobody seemed to get hurt. It was a good game. It's a faster game in 11 man. And to play it successfully, you had to be quick and fast or they were gone done, there had to be an awful lot of grading done there to make that uh, field. It just wasn't there. A fellow named Dutch Wilson did a lot of free work there. They got the county hooked in on doing some free work. Oh, there was a lot of work just to uh, get a field. Now, of course, the field uh, for the six man ran in a different direction. It ran more toward uh, where home plate is for baseball, out uh, southwest. Well, I think I was the one that, uh, I just thought it was the thing to do and needed to be done. Malvern Hamilton and uh, J.O. Wilson, those two were instrumental in, in trying to raise the money. I think maybe Bill Hudson, his father and Bill ran the Hudson Hardware, now Larry Groves has it. We uh, bought all of the uniforms for the six-man team. There were 12 or 14 boys for around $700. And that was our goal in the beginning, I think, to have 11-man football. But And we never dreamed that football would take over and become the number one sport. Uh, when we started the football, basketball, that's all everybody lived for basketball. As you know, football's number one now. And uh, the highlight, really, of the basketball I coached was that year we uh, got a game with Belair and a game with Shadyside. And back in those days, they wouldn't lower themselves to play Bellsville, not Shadyside and Belair. And I think it just... Uh, happened so they wanted a game, a practice game down at Belair. And we went down and uh, beat Belair 48 to 47. You didn't have high scoring games then. And we went to Shadyside and beat them. Yes, they, well, uh, the football took over just right away. It, uh, it yeah. But we didn't have any stands or bleachers when we started, so it would be difficult to estimate what kind of a crowd you'd have. And one of the best plays we had was for the uh, quarterback to hand it off to another fellow to start like he's going to run. He'd stop, and then the uh, quarterback would go out to receive a pass. That's still a good play in 11-man football, but they don't use it much. As I look at the 11-man teams we've had, I don't see, the only change I see is, especially with the Dave Caldwell teams, is the forward pass. Now, I've noticed that Dave's teams seem to improve as the season went along. They've had good coaches. Ken Newland was a good coach. He had a run of good teams. Larry McCullough did. Don DeLongo did. Jim Hardesty might have been the first 11-man uh, coach. I'm not sure about that. I don't have the answer as to why Bellsville has done so well in football. They're quick. Quickness will make up for a lot of size and speed will make up for a lot of size. 
and throwing the ball through the air will cover a lot of ground too. But enthusiasm goes a long ways and enthusiasm is contagious. If a coach has got it, the boys will probably have it too. I've had a lot of support from the public. See, I wasn't a great natural athlete, but I was crazy about sports. But you know, uh, really, I think uh, there's more to sports than people give it credit for because I really think that uh, playing any athletic event or participating in any sport is really a celebration of life. Now you might, some people think you're a little odd if you make a statement like that, but what better, better way can you celebrate your life than to be active? And so I look at it as a celebration of life to, in, to uh, play an athletic contest. We planted a little acorn and it grew into a great big oak tree.